pause the video now, guys, and try question two, okay? Have a look, okay? So pause the video, have a look, okay? Try this question on equations of circles, okay? A very, very hot topic, a predicted topic that is likely to come up on your paper two exam of Pure Maths A-Level on Tuesday, June the 11th, 2024, okay? So pause it, try it, show your full workings, and then come back and press play and check your answer or answers along with me, okay? But this question here is not actually on the here, but it's worth, I think, around eight to nine marks, eight to ten marks, okay? So question two, okay? A circle has the equation x squared plus y squared minus 12x plus 2y plus 24 equals 0, part A, okay, a classic question, okay, so I think this is likely, definitely, okay, to appear on your exam, okay, tomorrow, find the coordinates of the center of the circle and the length of the radius, okay, step one, bring all your x coordinates, so you're going to have x squared minus 12x, sorry guys, about my Pad, so I apologize, okay? So minus 12x plus y squared plus 2y. Oops, okay. That was a bit big there. And then I'm going to subtract 24 on both sides of my equation. Okay, so minus 24 yeah, on both sides. We get that this is equal to minus 24. Okay, I'm now going to complete this square, okay, on the x terms and the y terms separately, okay, for this, okay. So I'm going to do x brackets, yeah, brackets, so yeah, x minus, and then it's half the coefficient of x, so half the total will be 6. Okay, close the bracket and then square it. And then subtract the numbers going to here. So subtract 36. Okay, plus y, sorry, plus brackets, y plus 1. Okay, half of 2 is 1. So y plus 1, all squared. Okay, subtract the number squared. So minus 1, that's equal to minus 24. Okay. I'm now going to add 36 to both sides here and add the 1, okay, so we're going to have x minus 6 all squared plus y plus 1 all squared is equal to minus 24 plus 36, which is 12, and then plus that 1 will be 13, okay. So the coordinates of my center, guys, okay, we flip the signs on the left-hand side here inside the bracket. So the coordinates will be 6 minus 1, okay, for the center, okay. And then also the radius is the square root of the number on the end. So the radius is the square root of 13. Okay, leave it in its exact form. Okay, so in A levels, guys, yeah, get in the habit, yeah, of leaving your answers in exact third form. Okay, or in terms of pi, okay, where possible. Okay, unless it asks you to obviously yeah, round your answer to one, two, three dp or one, two, three sf. Okay, so on and so forth. Okay, sig figs. Okay, next part. A straight line L has equation x plus y equals 4. Part B, determine the coordinates of the points of intersection between C and L. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange this, okay, to make either x or y the subject. Okay, I'm going to go for y. So I'm going to subtract x here on both sides. We have y equals 4 minus x. I'm not going to substitute this into my equations of a circle, okay, from part A, okay, or into that one there, okay, either's fine, okay, and then I'm going to solve the quadratic, I believe, okay, getting me my x values, okay, for C and L, okay, so we're going to have x minus 6 all squared, 
key. Plus, now y remember here is equal to 4 minus 6. So I'm going to put that in. So I'm going to have 4 minus 6 plus 1. So we're going to have 5 minus x. Okay, 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, all squared. And then I'm going to minus the, the, the thing actually on both sides to make it equal to 0 because it is going to be a quadratic. Okay, remember that quadratics, okay, from GCSE maths have to always be equal to 0. Okay, I'm not going to expand the bracket, collect like terms. Okay, I'm going to do it in like one step here because I'm trying to treat this here as like a revision video. Okay, but please obviously yeah, pause here and obviously check back your answer. Okay, this one will go to x squared minus 12x plus 36. Okay, that's expanding x minus 6 all squared. Maybe it's a double bracket here. Okay, expand it using foil or using the grid method. Okay. Or the smiley fake method, okay. Either, either way is gonna be fine. And then expanding five minus x that goes to, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that goes to 25 minus 10x plus x squared, okay. Minus 13. is equal to zero okay i'm not going to collect my like terms okay for this quadratic i've got x squared plus x squared yeah that goes to 2x squared then i've got minus 12x subtract 10x so that'd be minus 22x okay oops sorry guys i apologize but my handwriting, okay, hopefully it's still legible, okay. Again, here's the key, guys, okay. Please, please, please always show your full working, okay, even if you make, like, a numerical mistake, okay. 36, so, okay, that'll be um 61. That'll be 51, that'll be 48. So, plus 48, yeah, is equal to zero. Factorize the two out, okay, or factor a two out of my quadratic, or just plug it in here. Yeah. The quadratic formula, okay, either is fine. I'm going to have two lots of x squared minus 11x plus 24. Okay, that's a nice one here to actually factorize. That'll be x minus 3 and x minus 8. Okay, if you're working ahead of me. Oops, sorry guys, I apologize about my handwriting there. So plus 24, that's equal to zero. So you're going to have, you factorize that, yeah, sorry. You're going to have two brackets, x minus 3, x minus 8, okay. So two numbers that add to make minus 11, yeah, times to make 24. That'll be minus 3 and minus 8. Okay, because minus 3 plus minus 8 is minus 11. Okay, and then minus 3 times minus 8 is going to be um, positive 24. Okay. So solving this, guys, our x values or our x coordinates, you could say, will be x is 3 and x is 8. So x is 3, x is 8. I'm now going to plug my values of x that I've now worked out into my straight line L equation, okay, to work out the y values or the y coordinates of, of, um, of C and L, okay. You're going to have y equals 4 minus x, 3 is going to be 1, and then 4 minus 8 will be minus 4. Okay. So, so my coordinates of c, okay, it will be 3, 1.
Oh, see, not C sorry, yeah, not C sorry, because yeah, so good, sorry, yeah. Okay, I'll 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 call it um, yeah, like you got yeah, obviously three one. Okay, sorry, these are my coordinates here of of intersection. Sorry, yeah, okay. I'll I'll label it as like P and Q. Okay, so P has the coordinates three one, and Q has the coordinates eight minus four. Okay, P or Q or yeah, R and S, whatever it is, okay, either letter is fine, okay, that's part B done, okay, and again, I think this question here, it is worth around 8 to 10 marks, okay, I'd say 2 to 3 marks here for part A, part B, definitely 5 marks, okay, hands down, okay, or 4 marks, if they're being quite harsh, or, or like a harsh exam board, Okay, and then part C, I'd say, yeah, worth, worth about three to four marks. So part C, should the distance between these points of intersection is k root two, where k is an integer, okay? So it's going to be using Pythagoras. So from three to eight is going to be five, actually. So it's going to be the square root of five squared, okay? Plus um, five squared, okay? Yep, so we're going to have... We're gonna, yeah, you know, we're gonna have actually a root fifty, okay? Because from three to eight we add five, from one to minus four we subtract from here. But remember, if you square a negative, it becomes positive. So it's a square root of five squared plus five squared, which is root twenty-five here plus root twenty-five here. It's gonna be root fifty. And then if you simplify that, that's root twenty-five times root two. So that our answer is going to be 5 root 2, okay? Because root 25, guys, is equal to 2, okay? So k is equal to 5, okay? So part A, 2 to 3 marks here on a typical exam, okay? Part B, 5 marks, if I'm being honest, and then part C, 2 to 3 marks here, or maybe even 2 marks here. So in total, maybe eight to nine to maybe 10 marks here for this question, okay? But I hope that makes sense. But please, please go over, okay, equations of circles, intersections, tangents, so on and so forth, okay? Remember, a tangent meets the circle at one point and is perpendicular to the radius, okay? So remember your um, tangent gradient, yeah, okay? And the gradient here of the radius, okay, they're going to be negative reciprocals of one another, okay. The gradient is multiplied to make minus one, okay, because obviously yeah, they meet at right angles, okay, from GCSE maths, okay. So revise all these topics, okay. But most importantly, best of luck for tomorrow. I hope you smash it, okay. Go and knock it out of the park, okay. All the best. Show your full workings because examiners are looking to give marks. They, they are on your side. So show your full, full workings for every single question. And please, please, please attempt, okay, every single question here. Even if you don't know how to do it, just attempt it. Okay, by attending it, okay, you might even pick up one, two, or even three marks out of a six, seven, eight, nine, ten mark question, okay? So every mark adds up to that grade A or A star or B or C or whatever, okay? But that's it.